Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and you are watching Ajaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 44 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully see that uh, this design and in this tutorial we are going to be working on this price and this uh, card button and selling button. So without wasting of time, let's get started. So guys, I'm on the same page here. So after the table ending, we need the same uh, border from here. Just look at here. Here is our also the border is coming from here. So I can do that. So simply just uh, forget this border now. Come back again from here. After the table tag, use a one div with the ID equal to price. Okay. inside that price let's first of all design that price section from here so from here i'm going to design that price so has price weight 100 percent height 60 pixel and border top one pixel solid RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0 0.1 as the same way copy this one from here by control C paste that one from here by control V and change the border uh, top to bottom let's refresh and check you can see that the border is coming from here now but we need some spaces from the top so how can you do that so simply just come back again from here and say margin margin from the top three mm, percent let's see the output so you can see that the perfect output is coming from here so now First of all, we need here a uh, price. So, I can do that. So, simply come back again from here and use the H3 tag here. H3 tag close here and set the price. Okay. So, price is $21. So, set the $21 here. Okay. Let's refresh and check. You can see that so now also we need something here with the line height 60 pixel so it will contain from the center okay now it's looking very good so let's uh, design the H3 tag from here at the price have some H3 tag so its weight will be 100% and then its uh, color will be has a uh, 3F5267 its uh, font size will be 22 pixel and then mm -hmm, let's refresh it first of all you can see that the so font weight will be the normal font weight normal control s to save it refresh it so you can see that we have perfect output just like we have here okay so now the next task is mm -hmm, next task is just come back again here 70 dollar or oh, uh, 70 dollar saving okay so the, uh, base price is the base price and this is the cutoff price with a discount so we'll design that one let's come back again from here inside that h3 tag create a one span tag here and here this is 70% off okay 
let's refresh and check what is the output from here you can see that the 70 percent is coming from here but we need to design this one so i can design that one come back again from here copy this price h3 span that so it's uh, first of all let's decrease the font size font size uh 40 pixel 14 pixel refresh it so you can see that the 14 pixel is coming from here you can see that and the same we have here 14 pixel 17 pixel okay also we set the margin okay not like that margin from the top zero percent from the bottom uh, from the right two percent from the bottom zero percent and from the left two percent okay oh my god let's refresh and check so you can see that now we need the uh, line on this uh, 70 percent okay so how can we set the line through so we use here text decoration property text decoration line through let's refresh and check so you can see that the line through property is coming from here so the next task is we need to set this 70 percent off discount so how can it do that so simply after the span tag we use here a b tag and set the discount percentage here okay so let's refresh and check so you can see that the 70 percent is coming from here so now we need to design that one so how can you design that one so h3 have some b tag so first of all let's uh, say font weight normal and its uh, height will be 60 pixel not like that 60 pixel and its uh, weight also 60 pixel and its uh, <laughs> font size yeah font size will be 14 pixel and its uh, background has f 5 to 6 7 and its color will be has fff which means white color and its uh, text align will be the center let's refresh and check so you can see that you can see that okay we doesn't need this uh, height and width from here set a padding from the both side padding 5% box sizing border box let's refresh it again so you can see that we need to decrease the font size 16 pixel refresh it and now 2% of padding from the all side Press it so you can see that now uh, we have to round it that uh, 70 percent so i can do that so simply come back again from here and say border radius 100 percent that's refresh and check not like that this one so you can see that 70 percent come back here okay so the next task is uh, we don't design it with the perfect output just like we have here with a rounded circle so we need to decrease the font size from here so we set the font size 14 pixel refresh it so you can see that but wow, we need to set it uh, padding from the top from the bottom uh, from the right one person from the bottom two percent from the left one person okay let's refresh it again you can see that i think 1.5 and here is also 1.5 let's refresh it again 
you can see that now that we have a perfect output here perfect output here we have and the next task is the simple task so in the same way come back again here and saving 49 control c control v okay let's refresh and check so you can see that the saving is coming from here so, well, we need to set the uh, tag margin so here we need to set the margin from the right from the right two percent let's refresh and check so you can see that the perfect output is coming from here perfect output we have here you can see that as the output we have here is the same output we have from here okay so the next task is you know design these buttons from here so how can you do that so simply come back again from here into the function tag and here use one form tag first of all form tag over here inside that form tag we use here a button tag first button is add to cart and the second button is enroll now just we have here buy now or enroll now both are same so don't worry about that but this one is inside the link href as tag a tag close okay so let's see the output first of all here refresh it so you can see that the both have buttons are coming from here so we need to set also margin from the bottom three percent let's refresh and check so you can see that the perfect output is coming from here so now uh, let's design that one that buttons so we said here course right have some form tag and inside that button so weight will be 48 percent height will be 35 pixel uh, outline will be none and then um, border width zero pixel and its background has three f5 to six seven and its uh, color will be has fff so let's take output so you can see that the button is completely perfectly coming from here but we need uh, to radius that button just like we have here you can see that so i can do that so simply use here border radius 15 pixel let's refresh oh no like that this one you can see that the perfect output is coming from here okay and also we have to set the text transform uppercase so these all are coming with the uppercase okay so how can you do that so simply text transform uppercase let's refresh you can see that all are coming with the perfect output we also need to use the mm -hmm, header section going to the header section and here yeah we use your cart button or uh, cart icon here
here also we are going to use the cart as the same way we are using here bolt We use here a bolt. Let's refresh and check what output we have here. Refresh it so you can see that both icons are coming from here. Perfect way. And also, set the cursor pointer from the style sheet at the button here. Cursor will be the mm -hmm, not like that. Cursor will be the pointer. Okay, let's refresh and check. So you can see that the cursor now pointer. Okay, in the same way, we are going to use a A tag. Control C. Paste that. A tag. Text decoration will be none. Color will be has FFF. So let's refresh it. You can see that now perfect output is coming from here so the next task is when someone hover on this one this button so it will be coming like this one so uh, how can you do this simply here and say hover so <laughs> what we have here now no 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 no, no. yeah border radius zero pixel so let's refresh and check. So you can see that. But uh, these radius are coming perfectly, but not in the smooth way. Just look at here. This is a very smooth effect. Very smooth effect. So again, do this simply. It's a simple, very simple way. We are going to use your transition property. Transition all. Okay, not like caps lock. So all 0.5s and we say is in out. Let's refresh and check again. Or oh, not this one, we need this one. So you can see that perfect output is coming from here. But this is a very slow effect, so we need to move fast. Refresh it now. You can see that the perfect output is coming from here. You can see that the effect is very smoothly coming. Very smoothly. You can see that this effect is also smoothly coming. So then now the next task is <laughs> uh, we need to design this uh, sharing button. Why I think guys this is a uh, a very long tutorial so i think guys we need to stop it here and in next tutorial we are going to design these uh, buttons so we'll meet you in next tutorial so guys if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get the direct notification into your inbox so stay connected with me stay tuned subscribe to the channel we'll meet you in next tutorial stay connected with me thanks a lot for watching guys goodbye